Well, also just the other day, a woman who uh, worked for Andrew Cuomo. Bro, that story is nuts. As well as Kathy Hochul right over here in Queens. <laughs> her and her husband were working on behalf of China. Oh. <laughs> and she got arrested. What? And they yeah, was getting man. caked out. Got a house in Hawaii. Got another house somewhere. Oh, yeah. This guy got a house in Long Island. Overwhelmed him. Yeah. Well, it's not a Connecticut. You, I did you, see, you that. see that. I see yeah, that. Yeah, I was like, yo, yes. that crib is crazy. Who, who was the name? And didn't she have a Ferrari, too, or something like <laughs> that? <laughs> Ferrari? Yo, working for the government? How who, who was that? Congratulations. You played yourself. She, she did what for Hoko? Uh, she was, let me look it up. She um, was like the, one of the chief of staff. Or something. Yeah, something like that. Something chief of staff. And used her position to actually bring diplomats in from China illegally congratulations you played yourself. great neck that's where she lived you got some paper to live in great neck mm. well she had paper that is insane yeah her name is Linda Sun former Kathy Hochul aide can't be accused of scheming to advance interests of China so you're saying you can't be a double agent you played yourself <laughs> hmm. I didn't know well that. I think specifically uh, you can't if you're going to uh, work on behalf of any foreign government and you work in government here, you have to disclose that. And then I they have to. So. You would think you'd want to let people know. I would think you have to. And then I don't think you can just take money. Right. That's not what you want. Congratulations. You played yourself. Oh, man. Well, because that what, that's what happened to Prize, too. Remember? Mm. The whole oh, Malaysian man. billionaire oh, thing God. with the dude was coming oh, in and, yeah. and producing movies with... Bro, that that got to be one of the craziest stories. And Leonardo DiCaprio is involved. And they like, won like what? an Oscar for a movie. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> was it for Wolf of Wall Street? I think so. <laughs> Damn, that was a great movie. Great. That's, they did a great thank job. Thank you, guys. They did a great job. Yeah. <laughs> but it's such a wild story. Like, what? Oh, man. Yo, man. It's crazy <laughs> out here. And I'm probably the only one that's going to cover this, and it is very sad. Uh, but yesterday there was a school shooting. Today's the first day of school. This happened <sighs> in, I think it's pronounced Winder, Georgia, which is uh, just northeast of Atlanta. Uh, two students killed, two teachers killed. Horrible. A student, 14 years old, came into school with a, uh, a rifle of some sort. Uh, I, I haven't seen any reports on the exact type of gun that was being carried. And at any rate, a year prior, a year ago, the FBI was warned about this student. Georgia doesn't have what is known as a red flag law, where if somebody makes threats, the guns then get removed from the home. They don't have that in Georgia. Also, it should be noted that the high school has armed guards. It also should be noted that the high school got a threat yesterday morning saying that there will be shootings at five schools in the area and that Appalachia High School would be the first. And still someone walked in with a gun and killed four people. Congratulations. You played yourself. So, I don't know what it's going to take, but us sitting around acting sad, like, you know, thoughts and prayers and all this, when, bruh, it happens over and over and over again, and nobody wants to pass appropriate laws managing the guns that are available out here in the United States. No, 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 these idiots want more guns. See, if we had more guns, this wouldn't have happened. Shut Oh, yo, it just boils my blood. Play, that's, why, that's why it's such a hard conversation, because that's exactly where it goes every time. And I don't understand. If you're so passionate about being a gun owner, right? You're passionate about guns. Why wouldn't you want sensible gun laws? Listen, most, gun, on, most gun owners I know, right. and I know a lot, they want, they don't mind. There's no... Right. No, nobody, look, look, I know some gun owners are like, yo, if you have more than one assault, like an AK-47, why do you need more than one? You need to register every one. Anyone with an AK-47 that has, should, it should be registered. That's a movement happening for people who are gun owners. Like, they're like, yo, you're not going to war with the government with your little guns in your house, bro. Why do you need all that artillery? Do you realize that when they came up with the Second Amendment, it literally took you like 40 seconds to shoot one bullet? Yo, when they came up with the Second <laughs> Amendment, Rosenberg, there wasn't a military. You were, the people were, were the, the military. military. Right, right. So A, it was for the it was for the people to actually become the military. In the case. And then they would take their musket. 
and have to one little pellet at a time stuff dump the it thing in. in. <laughs> this, it's, it's such it's such abuse of what the the law was supposed to be that we all get caught up on the Second Amendment so much. But they're not going to change anything here. And also, the, the 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 I saw the front page of the you know right wing outlets. It's about like oh pure evil, blah blah blah. We're going to simplify it by saying that some... Uh, you said 13 years old. 14. Now 14, but you said a year ago he threatened to do yes. so too. So since this guy, this guy, this kid was a little kid, he's had severe problems. What's going on with that? I think even... I know it's a good story to say he's yeah. pure evil and he's Michael Myers, but I think even the there's parents, something else going on. I think on. even I'm, the I'm parents kidding. of the kid had told the police like a year ago, yes, we have hunting rights. Like, they weren't like hiding the now, fact that they the had parents gone. with the button. You know you have a kid with problems, and you have a house full of guns. You played yourself. You know, if you have well, a kid so who might my be problem. violent, you don't get rid of all the guns. Here's, in your house? But here's my problem. So now the child is going to be there. We're supposed to be happy, I guess, that the child's going to be charged as an adult. So that's supposed to like bring us some sort of, I don't know, resolve or something. But what about the people who made the guns available? Like that's the evil part. Mm. The fact that we don't keep our kids, protect our kids, either from themselves or from the environment, that's on us as parents and adults. That is not on these children, fam. At a certain point, we have to hold ourselves accountable. Congratulations. You played yourself. Laura, what you got today? Um, in, in less serious news, um, I guess... You, you know, during an interview, a conversation, I'll say, during the Humor and Harmony weekend, 50 Cent was having, was chatting with Gillian Wallow. And I guess he was talking about, you know, his life as an entrepreneur and in the music business. And at one point, he couldn't remember designer's name, but remembered that he only had um, one song, one big song in 2015, which was Panda. And then he just kind of felt at the time he didn't have any more music to present to him, so he passed on him on signing him, right? Mm. So Sounds that was, like a good business I mean, move. Yeah. So I guess Designer didn't like that. And now he's coming back with a diss track. Oh. Wait, who? I don't designer do decided it was designer. time to put out. I mean, look, if you're going to take, if you're going to shoot a shot, <sighs> I guess when your name comes up, you're going to shoot the shot to try to get relevant again, right? Bro, come, come I mean, on. the guy's trying to get his name out. His name came up. Ugh, I mean, I would do it. If, if this, no, you would not. Yes, my name you would. If I was fighting to get my career going and 50 mentioned me in the interview, I'd probably shoot my shot. Absolutely. But do you think what 50 said was disrespectful? No. I, I didn't hear it. So, I, I it, honestly, you're telling me that 50 talked about someone? There's a 50-50 chance it was disrespectful. Yeah. I mean, we have a clip, but it's so bad. This is 50 Cent. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. okay. oh nice. Okay. You know what came to me? What's the name? Name sound like future. I got clothes panda, in the panda, 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 yeah. yeah. I met with him before he did the deal with Kanye. Though. Had him at the office. Yo, let me hear the other records you got. And he's like, that's, that's it. And the shit was so hot that he had it. I was struggling. And I was like, nah, I can't get that, that money. Let them give him whatever they're going to yeah, give. Yeah. I knew who I was, but I made one record. Plan, so as I was saying, he he couldn't remember his name. He didn't remember his name. But right. and brought it up just as an example of I wasn't interested and I got it right. It's right. disrespect. No, it's I not don't disrespect. Think it's disrespect. It was it's actually facts. It's a, it's facts. Facts and disrespect are not mutually exclusive. No, for sure. But it right. didn't even sound like he was being mean. He was just like, I'm not gonna. He actually did him a favor. He was right. like, Yo. Let them give you all that money, cause I'm not no, gonna no, do for it. Sure, for sure, I, I agree. But like, listen, it's and facts it, that I'm and, overweight. But if you bring it up in a podcast, my feelings are gonna get hurt. About yeah, but if you, it, if you but if you look at the whole context of it, they were talking about songs that are bigger than the artists, right? Guys, so, I, I don't disagree with anything you're saying. I'm just saying, are you? You surprised? see how designer took it as disrespect. One hundred percent. And by the way, I don't. We don't even know that designer took it as disrespect. We can hear a clip of designer song. I still don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. That was disrespect. What I just did. See, let's you hear what I hear. Yeah. What? Oh. For my skip game money, it's for my skip game tools. Okay. Like flock, let's do it. Okay. Get the money, let's do it. For my is he in his car? Is it feels like he's in his car. Every night, it's not. It's not fair. You gotta hear. You gotta hear. Yeah, yeah, it's not doing justice. Okay. Get off from that fifty cent. I be talking to fifty mil. Get off from that Timmy Turner. Let the skin get chilled. I got signed to Kanye, loading tickets. Dude, it's never worth a deal. It's on the boys, keep it real. Designer always keeps it real. I heard that. Uh, and always keeps it 100. All right, y'all talking about 50 Sam, talking about 50, 50 mil? Congratulations. Right. You played yourself. Wait, uh, but who's that too, though? 
I heard 50's name drop. I heard 50. He said, y'all talking 50 cents. Yeah, but y'all don't even know what he's saying, though. <laughs> he said something have about somebody there. Have, have we ever? Oh, uh, here you go. I'm just saying. Nah, this is a fraudulent congratulations you played yourself. And let's not act as if we can understand what anyone's saying in a lot of songs these days. Exactly. So, it's not part. personal it to him. Right, so wait, right what in. was the button for in this segment? I don't, I don't know. I just feel a, a distract to 50 that deserves a button. Oh, because the button is going to end up Because right. it wasn't an intentional diss. You played yourself. Yeah, makes sense. By 50 standards, that was very light. I'll give you that. By right. 50 standards, that was not that. I don't, think 50, I don't think 50 was dissing a kid at all. I don't think so either. I don't think so either. Yeah. I Rose think was talking about the situation. I think, mean, yeah. Yeah, dissing? No, not dissing. But it, it would be enough to hurt your feelings. I'm not saying you dissed him at all. It was enough Truth to hurt. make a diss and, and on the other no. side, <laughs> And on the other side, I got to say, look, designer, you're trying to get your rhythm and, and movement back. Now's the time to do it, right? Yeah. Your name's being brought up. So I ain't mad at that either. Rosenberg, what you got today? Guys, uh, you know, I appreciate something in politicians called conviction. You know what I mean? Being a man of your word, a woman of your word. Word is your bond. The word is your bond. Mm -hmm. And that's why it makes perfect sense that Donald Trump is moving to the left on abortion over the last week. Continu okay. Continuing to become more and more pro-choice as polls show him. Things are not looking great for him. Mm. Now he says he supports insurance paying for IVF. Okay. As long as the IVF is being done for medical reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, he also... No, people do it to choose... Like, to, not to choose gender. Like, you can't have a child. That is a thing, that people just do it to choose gender. Okay. They're like, I'm done. I want to get... I want a boy now, IVF. Got it. So he's saying that it's a reasonable take that he doesn't believe in, of course. But then he's also... Uh, he the the Florida abortion ban, which I think they have at six weeks. He has come around to saying, you know what, six weeks is too early. We should push that back as well. Now you have people on the right being like, wait a second, what are you doing? We thought you were our guy. Well, no, he's being a politician. He's no, he's, not to... being, he's, he's being Donald Trump. Oh, because you know what I'm saying? Does he actually believe in anything, Ebro? Oh, Was the man point. ever actually truly anti-abortion? Well, no, he's whatever the people who support him. Say that, but most politicians are. They're just trying yeah. to get the job. Not on issues like that, though. Usually, nah, you, yeah. usually with this one, you no, but people lock into where you are. Yeah, but people are like when you're talking like, is it six weeks or three months? Is it? You that's know? a big deal. But like, that's kind of the whole deal. Like, I've never heard of someone who's pro-choice being like, you know what? I changed my mind. It should actually be a six-week ban. That's not a well. I was just talking. Well, no, okay, but I was just talking about politics in general. You have many politicians who will soften their stance on some thing because they think it'll bring either more voters or it'll actually be able to get done because they can build yeah, a to, coalition. What I'm pointing out is to do it mid-election. Oh, it's he literally said something else three weeks ago and yeah. you're just like, hey, by the way, we're looking at the polls. Seems like I'm slipping. Seems like the woman who's entered the race is doing really well with women. Let me try to Add this new caveat. Absolutely. It's it's just the most fraudulent thing of all time. Well, yeah, Congratulations. I mean, it's Donald Trump. You so yourself. yeah, if Correct. it wasn't Donald Trump, it would just be politics. The problem is, it wouldn't happen though. I'm telling you, not in mid election that you go, hey, I know I just said this. I literally just I'm changing oh, my yeah, mind. It's usually but is over he changing it completely or no? no. As you said, major, there's but this these an are major. These are major changes for an issue like this. Well, the these other reason I bring changes. it up is because Kamala was against the wall. Okay, and now there's video of her talking about, hey, we need to part of the solution because the bill that has been presented that Donald Trump messed up had a wall in it or has a wall in it. She's like, listen, if basically if that's what's going to get it done, where we can get some better regulation at the border, I'm open to it. I, I hear what you're saying. That's not this. And all, like this is this is just one example. He's also now talking about uh, legalizing marijuana. See, there's like three different issues now in which he is fully moving towards the left to, to get try votes. to get a more progressive yeah. stance. But that is insane. That guy, that's not... <laughs> I understand it's politicians not. evolve. You're talking about over years. You're saying years ago, Kamala yes. Harris said, I'm against a wall. And then by the time it became a practical thing in Congress, she was like, all right, you know what? I might have to concede that there's a wall built. That is not the same as being like, I am running for the families and I am against abortion. Right. Two weeks later. You know, I was thinking about it, guys. Like that That's not, especially an issue that's so divisive. It just shows that he's a guy of zero character whatsoever and firmly supports my belief that if back in the day he had gotten support from some he had decided to go after Mitt Romney and not Barack Obama and he had gotten love from a different crowd oh, he'd be he would have went that way yeah, yeah, he would have been sure. a Democrat for sure. he's nothing he's just a guy for sure. Congratulations. So actually, you Donald, Donald Trump with the button or the people I don't know, it who feels like the people who are who still stand by him no matter even when he changes the beliefs that you matter. say or why you believe in him. Yeah no it's still they're still rocking. It does feel like politics.